In this video, we're going to consider how long it will take an electrician and an apprentice to complete a job. The electrician can complete the job, we're told, in one hour less time than his apprentice, and together they do it in one hour and twelve minutes. Well, let's look at what we know about the electrician, the apprentice, and the team. We're told the electrician does the job in one hour less time than his apprentice. We don't know anything about his apprentice, so let's make that x. The electrician, one hour less, will be x minus one. As a team, they do the job in one hour, twelve minutes, which is kind of weird to write out as a number, so we can either convert that into minutes or convert that all into hours. Let's go with hours, because the numbers will be smaller. We've got one hour, and those twelve minutes are split up into sixty minutes per hour. So we can say one and twelve over sixty. Twelve over sixty can reduce by dividing by twelve into one-fifth. So as a team, they're going to do it in one and one-fifth hours, changing that mixed number to a fraction, because we don't like to do math with mixed numbers, we get six-fifths of an hour. We can now make an equation out of the reciprocals. The reciprocal of the electrician, one over x minus one, plus the reciprocal of the elect of the apprentice, one over x, equals the reciprocal of the team, five over six. We now have an equation we can solve by identifying the least common denominator. Recall the entire x minus one denominator is one factor, so the LCD is six x times x minus one. And so we will multiply each term by six x times x minus one, on both sides of the equation. Reducing out the x minus ones leaves us with six x plus, reduce out the x's, six times x minus one, reduce out the sixes, five x times x minus one. And we now have an equation with no fractions we can quickly solve. Let's start by distributing. 6x plus 6x minus 6 equals 5x squared minus 5x. Combine like terms, 12x minus 6 equals 5x squared minus 5x. We need the equation to equal to zero because of the x squared, so we'll subtract 12x and add 6. Subtract 12x and add 6, to give us zero equals five x squared minus seventeen x plus six. We can either solve this by factoring, completing the square, or the quadratic formula. This one's not too bad to factor because five x squared has to be five x times x. Let's see. Six has to be minus two and minus three. That'll give us minus fifteen. Minus two gives us minus seventeen. Yep, that's it. And then finally, I'm gonna scroll to give us more room to work here. We can solve by making each factor equal zero. Five x minus two equals zero, or x minus three equals zero. Solve the first by adding two and dividing by five x equals two-fifths. Solve the second by adding three, and x equals three. x is the apprentice. The apprentice does the job in either two-fifths of an hour or three hours. We're not sure which, maybe both, but we do know the electrician does it in one hour less, which means we have to subtract one from the apprentice job. If the apprentice is two-fifths of an hour, the electrician would be negative three-fifths. Well, that wouldn't make much sense. The electrician can't do the job in negative time. So the apprentice must have been three. The electrician, one hour less, would be two, and that's going to be our solution. We find that solution by taking the reciprocals of the individuals, equaling the reciprocal of the team, and solving that equation for x.